Right, hello guys, it's just me on my own tonight. I'm going to be recording a WWE Raw roster tier list. This is my own opinion, so don't have a go at me. Uh, the other two couldn't be bothered. Nah, joking. They just, I don't know, given up for tonight. So it's just me. Uh, sorry if this is very boring. I'm a boring person. Uh, and up first, we've got AJ Styles. Uh, and there's only one place this guy can go, and that is in the best. He's been the best for I don't know how many years, ever since he came into WWE. Before that, New Japan, everything he is the GOAT. You know, everything about AJ Styles is good. I've, I've, the Nakamura feud wasn't that good, but, you know, it's not his fault. I He's... There's, there's no word to say how good he is. He is fantastic. Um, up next, I think that's Acom. And mm, well, they had that thing with Seth Rollins, didn't they? The team, and they come back and they fall. They, they, they get the tag titles, and you know they'd be a formidable force to feud with the Viking Raiders or whoever. Then they just dropped off. They give the titles to Murphy and Rollins, and I thought they'd give it to them. They they their NXT call up was not bad. They they have had the tag titles, but it's a tough one really because they, they could be a massive tag team in WWE in my opinion I, I think they could be you know they could hold the, hold the titles for ages but I think it's just about bearable for me at the moment if they come if they come back after maybe everything is over then maybe WWE I think better for them but at the moment I don't think so I don't think so Um, and next we have Akira Tozawa which you could say is probably the best jobber in the world, to quote Simon Miller. Uh, he's a very good wrestler. A very, very good wrestler. And the role he's been given by WWE, he holds very well. You know, getting beat every week by everyone. But, you know, I think he should have stayed in the Cruiserweight division and gone for that title again. But getting called up to the ring roster was just pointless for him, in my opinion. But... <laughs> I think he should go back to NXT and try and go for the Cruiserweight title, but, you know, what WWE want to do with him, what Vince wants to do with him is just make him lose every week and be a jobber. So, on his on his current WWE position, he'll be getting the bin, but I'm going to put him in alright, because I think he's a really good wrestler. Um, next we've got Alistair Black, who probably has, in my opinion, one of the best finishers in WWE. That, that move, just, just the instant hit. It pops the crowd every time. It's it's just such such a good finish. So it's not like, you know, when there's a slow build. You can just hit it any time. It's it's so good. Uh, and in my opinion, Alistair Black is high tier. I don't think he's the best yet. Do I think he'll be a you know top tier title holder in the future? Maybe. But at the moment, I think he should go after the mid tier championships. Maybe maybe have a US title run. Maybe for Food Andrade would be quite good. But at the moment, I'm gonna put him pretty good. Uh, he probably will be the best in the, in the future. I really like him. I think uh, mm, it's a tough one, really, because it, it could he could get the Cesaro treatment where he's a very good wrestler. All the audience knows he's a really good wrestler, but Vince just doesn't see that. I hope he doesn't have that treatment because I could see him a major title holder in the future. Next, another person who I think could be a major title holder in the future is Andrade. And I think he's a very good US champion. If he could get the English going, I think Vince and WWE management would push him right to the top. And he's getting there. His promos have been quite decent on WWE. He's been speaking more English than that. And I think a feud with... Who's he feud with from Raw? I can't remember. He just... Has matches with Drew. He has matches with Drew, which is very good for his career. I'm not sure. He's very good at Selena Vega. But I'm not sure the other two. <laughs> I'm not sure where that stable's going because they seem to lose every week. So that's not the best. But I'm going to put him in pretty, pretty good. Because I think he's a great wrestler. And, you yeah, know, I'm going to intertwine him with Angel Garza. In NXT, he was fantastic. But ever since he's been called, I mean, what's he's lost every week? You know, he's a very good wrestler, very charismatic. But. On on his off of his main of his raw run, I'm not gonna put him in all right because well he's in that group and in that well you could call it a tag team with Austin Theory but 
it's uh, it's gone down the gone down the pan a bit, isn't it? It's not the best. I know Selena Vega's a very good manager. Who could go a manager? Yeah, she's very good. But uh, I don't think he'll hold a title yet in WWE. Maybe not even the tag titles with Austin Theory, but maybe he could have kept him in NXT a bit longer. Did they just bring him up because he's Tumberto Carrillo's cousin, or just I don't know? He's all right at the moment. Uh, next is Angelo Dawkins, one of the tag team, half of the tag team t- uh, champions. Uh, I've heard a lot of people argue that uh, I'm going to pair these two together. I should have paired Aiken and Razor together actually, but uh, whatever. Uh, you could people have been saying he's the worst member of the Street Profits, but I think he's very good. I'm going to put him in all right for now, and I think I'm going to put uh, where is he? Him in all right as well. Of course, he. I th- I think he's the better one, but you know they're, they're a good team. They're a very good team, and I think you know a lot of people like the basketball match on Raw, but I didn't. It, it wasn't for me. I think they're gonna have a really good feud with the Viking Raiders, and I'll put them two in all right for now. But in the future, they'll probably be pushed up for me. Uh, next is uh, Apollo Cruz. It's it's a real shame he got uh, kayfabe injured off telly. Because I think he would have been good in the Money in the Bank. Not won it, but, you know. Maybe if he, I think he should come back as a heel. You know, not have smiley Apollo Crews anymore. But, uh, yeah, that's... I'm going to put him in alright. But I think he's very talented. He's a very, very, very good wrestler. His main roster run has been awful. You know. Tyus Worldwide was quite entertaining, but what else has he done on the main roster problem lose? You know, he was he was good in NXT. Triple H obviously liked him because he's the one that, you know, made him get called up, but Vince has got nothing for him at the moment. Maybe this injury will do him good. You know, it was hot. well, K Fabe injury, it's not a real injury, is it? But I think it'll do him good. Hopefully he comes back. I can see him yeah, you know, I can see him holding the US title in the future. Or Intercontinental. Whatever brand he comes back on because he was he's been <laughs> You know, fluctuating in and out of brands. You know, he's on SmackDown and he just appeared on Raw. But, you know, I think he's alright. You know, a lot of the... Some, well, I say some. I mean, a lot of the audience probably think, oh, no, he's rubbish. But I think he's quite good. Uh, next we got Asuka. And she's obviously the best. Uh, in this no non-crowd era, I think she's been the best. She's been so entertaining. You know... It's, it's amazing how someone could be so entertaining with no audience. You know, it's been a been a joy to watch on Raw recently. She was, you know, I think a lot of people have been tuning in just to see her. She thoroughly deserves to win Money in the Bank. Uh, there's no one else for me that could win Money in the Bank. Maybe Shayna. I'm very surprised at that, to be honest, that Shayna didn't win it. But, you know, I'm actually quite, yeah. Well, she's been so entertaining. I think she sh- should hold the belt for quite a while now. A, f- a feud with Shayna or whoever she feuds with now is going to be very good. She's so entertaining. It's it's just amazing. The, you know, the Kabuki Warriors, people could say, you know, it, it wasn't the best. But, you know, they're both very, very talented wrestlers. And both very entertaining. Hopefully Kyrie can go another way. Maybe go, you know, a feud with them two would be very good. But I don't think they'll do that. It would be very good if them two feuded. But, you know, we'll have to see what they do. Hopefully hopefully they don't blow their load on Shayna quickly. And maybe have a feud with, well, I don't know, someone else on the roster. Bianca Belair would be very, very good. She's just been called up. That would be very good. You know, bring you know, have a little NXT thing going on. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, next is Austin Theory. He was quite decent in NXT. He's still young. He's still very young. You know, he's still learning, you could say. But his main roster run has been quite poor, hasn't it? He, he just gets claimed every week and loses. <laughs> uh, I could, you could you could put him in all right with Angel Garza, but you know I must admit I don't I haven't really watched that much NXT. You know I I watch you know the the uh, takeovers and that, but I'm gonna put him in just about bearable for now. Just for now, because <clears throat> sorry, just for now, because I th- I think he's all right, and I think he will improve in the future, but not at the moment. I don't think WWE got anything for him actually at the moment. Maybe when crowds start coming back, they'll push that tag team. Right, 
it cut out because Bandicam only lets you have 10 minutes if you don't pay for it and I'm not doing that because we're not making any money off this because we get one view per video but whatever you know and I'm not forking out my money for Bandicam uh, next we have Becky Lynch which is obviously the best well best of as, as of the last few years you know before that WWE didn't really have much for her but now you know she won the crowd over she was very over you know, over the past year, year and a half, or longer than that now, she's probably been the best woman in the company. You know, she's held the belt. You know, I think it was a really nice way to give the belt over, you know, pregnancy. You know. <laughs> but, you know, to give it to Asuka as well, the person she couldn't beat up until Royal Rumble was very good. Um, she... Again, like it's a bit like it... Well, she's not as good as AJ Styles, obviously, but... You can't really put in the words how good she's been over the last few years. I think she's, you know, she's built that audience up. You know, WWE, WWE probably didn't push her, but she pushed herself, which I think is very good. You know, she come from sort of nothing in WWE to be the champion for over a year, you know, longest reigning champion. You know, it, it, she, she's amazing. She's amazing, put it that way. Uh, next we have Bianca Belair, who has just been called up to the NXT roster. Uh, NXT roster, just been called up from the NXT roster to Raw. Uh, she come back. At, she come at WrestleMania. I think it was WrestleMania to help the Street Profits. Obviously, because her husband husband's in the Street Profits. She had a very good Royal Rumble run. You know, with the Iron Woman. I think that was a very good spot for her. You know, she eliminated someone really big as well. I can't remember who, but. I think she she eliminated somewhat big. Oh, I can't remember, sorry. Uh, but I think Bianca Belli is quite decent. You know, I think she's a very, very talented wrestler. You know, she's an amazing in NXT. I hope they don't, you know, job her out in WWE or do something really poor with her. You know, maybe not a title as of yet. Maybe a few, a few that's all, like I said. But for now, I, I'm i torn between these. I'm going to put them in pretty, pretty good because I think she's very good. Um, the next one is very tough. It's the Big Show. He's been in WWE for so long now. And, you know, I know a lot of people out there would probably put him in the best, but he's okay now. You know, back in the day, as the world's largest athlete, in quotation marks, you know, he's lost a lot of weight. You know, he don't really do much in WWE, apart from a match with Drew at WrestleMania that was on Raw, or whatever, the fuck, whatever it was. I'm going to put him in pretty, pretty good. I'm going to put him with a top you know I could put him in the best because of how long he's been in WWE and how long you know he's been a he's been a consistently good performer you know and I think if he retired a bit you know a few years ago I think he would have been up there I think he's a future Hall of Famer definitely but for me I'm going to put him in pretty pretty good um the next is Billy Kay so I'm going to pair with Peyton Royce um one of the people on this YouTube channel really hates them. But I think that's good because you're supposed to hate them. You know, <laughs> they are so annoying. They are very, very talented in what they do. But until they... Uh, I think they should give them the tag titles back in because that was such a good run. I should put them in pretty, pretty good. I'm going to put them near the top of alright. Because I, th I really like them. You know... Do <laughs> that... I know Sonny doesn't like them, but he's supposed to not like them. I I like a heel character. Are they heels? I think they're heels, because they, they're dicks to the other wrestlers. I think in the future they be, they definitely be pretty, pretty good for me. Another title run. I think they should definitely beat Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. But another title run would, would suit them well. I think I should, they will get bumped up to pretty, pretty good then. That's all I've got to say about them. Uh, next is uh, Bobby Lashley. When he come back, I thought, ooh, you know, because it was that thing like, oh, I wonder if you did Brock Lesnar on that. I think, you know, ooh, he's going to come back and uh, have a run. Like, he held the Intercontinental with Leo Rush, which, uh, you know, it was very good to have a mouthpiece of Leo Rush. It looks like MVP is going to be his mouthpiece now, which should could be very good. And I, I would quite like to see a match with him and Drew. You know, he's in WWE in 2006, 5. Then he left and then come back. And, you know, he's a, he's a beast. He's a fucking... He's a massive fan. And he's sort of uh, the master lock, 
I'm not sure what he what it's called now, but that's one of his new moves. And I I th- I think he's quite talented. You know, the Lana stuff wasn't. You know, it was it, it made a lot of views on YouTube, but it's a bit. Mm, it's a bit hit and miss for me. Maybe they're breaking them up. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best. I'm gonna put him in pretty, pretty good, because I think he's very, he's very good. You know, he's not really a talker, but he's in ring stuff. I think he'd be a very good heel with MVP. And I'm gonna put him in pretty, pretty good. Next is a controversial one. I think a lot of people would, you know, maybe put him in here at the bottom. But I think Brock is, he's a massive draw. You know, he's a massive draw for pay per views and audiences and that. I c- I'm mm, I really like Brock Lesnar. You know, he can never be a face. You know, when he held the money in the bank, that was very entertaining. You know, maybe a more jokey Brock when he comes back eventually would be very good. So I, I it's a tough one here because I'm I would be inclined to put him at the top, but he's not as good as AJ Styles as a wrestler. So I think I'm going to put him pretty, pretty good to put put him at the top. You know. I could put him in the best, but I don't think so. If he was, you know, if he was a consistent feature, but not actually. That's his whole thing, in it? Just turning up for the big pay-per-views and that. So I quite like this Royal Rumble thing was very entertaining. He's very good in that, and he, he sold Drew very well. He pushed Drew to the stars, and he made Drew very, very over, which is very good. So, yeah... Mm, I might push him at the to the best at the end. I might have a bit of a switch around. Um, you know, Paul. I'm going to put Paul Heyman next to him because Paul Heyman's pretty pretty good. Now, put that's the thing. As a package, they're in the best. But as individuals, ah, uh, I'm going to put them in the best, but put them at the end. This is controversial. You know, if if more than one person does watch this and wants to comment, this could be controversial to you. I'm I'm open to opinions, but. You know, Paul Heyman is one of the best speakers in WWE anyway. He's he's so good with Brock. You know. He 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 pushed him. He's he's a great talker. And he get gets the crowd going. You know, he's he's supposed to be a heel, but everyone, you know, word words along, that's not correct. Everyone speaks along to him. You know you know, if I think if Brock didn't have Paul he would be in pretty pretty good, but I'm going to put them both of them together. Uh, next we have Buddy Murphy, who I think is a very good heel, but I think uh, I could put him in pretty pretty good, but I don't think so yet. So I'm going to put him in all right and put him in the middle. Put him in the middle. You know, I could I could see him as a US champion in the future, maybe pushing on further, but. You know, I think he's very talented. Of course, he's very talented. He was great in the cruiserweight, you know, cruiserweight division when he was in there. He had a great one with the title. I can't remember who he was. F- I should remember this. I should remember this, but I can't remember who he was feuding with. But yeah, he's all right at the moment. You know, maybe if we do a, n- a new one in the future with the other guys, we'll put him in pretty, pretty good. But for now, he's all right. Uh, next is Cedric Alexander. 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 Um, as of recently, he's been in the program with uh, Ricochet and he, the Two Fly Crew, and they've been having matches with Brendan Vink and Shane Thorne. You know, it's been kind of fifty-fifty booking, hasn't it, at the moment? But hopefully, they push that team because I think they'll be very good. I'm going to put him in all right for now. I th- I th- I do think he's very talented. Of course, I think he's very talented. He's a very you know high flyer. You know, I'm not sure if Vince quite likes the high flyers. You know, he likes big beefy men, but you know, I don't see him hold held holding a, you know, a, a a single title. Maybe the tag titles. Maybe the tag titles. Maybe after the Viking Raiders and the Street Profits of Feud, maybe they go on to that. Maybe they go on to that. Hopefully, they don't fucking you know squash him and ricochet again. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, next is Charlotte Flair, which is definitely in the best. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll put her ahead of Becky. She's the best for years now. I know people are always saying, "Oh, she's Rick Rick, Rick Flair's daughter. She's getting pushed all the time." But she deserves it, man. She she she's made this on her own. Being Rick Flair, Flair's daughter does help. 
Yes, it did cut out again because we're not paying for Bandicam. Uh, yeah, but being Ric Flair's daughter does help, and she has held them. I think she's, has she held the most women's titles. Well, she's definitely held the most women's titles. It's sixteen now, in it or something like that. But she, she's she looks a lot taller than she is. According to a Wikipedia page, she's only five foot ten. I think she came out on SmackDown saying she was five foot ten, but she looks a lot taller. But you know enough about that. She, you know, having the NXT title was very good. It's a big draw for that on Wednesday. You know, but, uh, people did want that first one winning the Rumble, but I think that's good. It's a good thing to add to her resume. You know, I think she's going to go for it all. She deserves to go for it all. Although I think she's, she, she definitely should be a heel. You know, she's, uh, face shout out Flair is not. You know, it's good because she's good at everything. But I prefer a face. I prefer a heel. Sorry, heel Charlotte Flair for me is is the best Charlotte Flair. I think she'll definitely be a future Hall of Famer. You know, maybe if she does drop the NXT title, the feud with Asuka would be very good. You know, I know we've probably we've seen that a few times before, but you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. She's definitely the best for me. Uh, next is my favorite wrestler in the company, so I'm gonna put him in the best. Yeah, put him at the top. <laughs> You know, ever since he come back to WWE, I have loved Drew McIntyre, and face Drew McIntyre is amazing. Uh, the Claymore kick is amazing. He should be the title holder for years, maybe not years, but you know, for a very long time. He deserves that title so much. I just ordered a Drew McIntyre shirt, which is small, small on me. I know I'm a fat guy. But it's quite a tight shirt. But anyway, I think Drew is the best. Uh, you know, he he probably you know that time he had away from W made him made him better. You know, it's all down to you know we've had the Jinder Mahal leave, come back, win a title. Drew leave, come back, win a title. It's down to Heath Slater now. You know, if he gets jacked, comes back, that'd be great. But yeah, Drew's the best. Drew is the best. He'll always be the best. That's enough on that. You know, people might not like Drew McIntyre. And maybe when Crowds come back, he won't be a, you know, won't be a massive pop. But the Claymore kick is always going to pop a crowd. Always going to pop a crowd. Uh, next we have Eric. I think it's, no, Ivar. Ivar from the Viking Raiders. He's very athletic. Very athletic for the size of the guy. You know, and I, you know, in my opinion, I think he's the better Viking Raider. I'm going to put these two together. You know, I... Th- I do see them beating the Street Profits in the feud and holding the tag titles. In my opinion, cause I well, I think I I prefer them. I just prefer them. Um, they have, you know, they they call up one of the best when they were called the Viking Experience and all that because you're not obviously war on you know whatever. But I think they they're holding their own. You know, the jokey character aren't the best. I think they should be like menacing heel, not heels, but like just menacing guys that no one can beat. For now, I'm going to put them in alright. A bit in the top of alright, because I think they're, you know, one of the better tag teams. Well, <laughs> probably one of the best tag teams on Raw at the moment. Official tag teams, anyway. But yeah, I'm going to put them two together. <sighs> yeah, Sarah Logan leave him one of the best. Because, you know, why, why have I brought Sarah Logan up to this season? I know it's her fucking husband. But she's not part of this team. Not whatever. Yeah, they're all right. They probably get pushed up to pretty, pretty good in the future, but not now. Not, not, not right now. Um, I think we got uh Humberto Carrillo next. I quite like Humberto Carrillo. You know, he he's okay. He's okay. I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna be very generous with all these, but I'm gonna put him in all right for now. I don't really have much to say about him. I quite, I like him. He's a he's a talented wrestler. I think he's part of the I can't he can't speak English so don't push him group with Andrade. You know maybe a few ah, they had a few last year and it didn't go anywhere did it? This year wasn't it? This year last year whatever. I I I don't see him getting pushed by Vince or anyone. But ah, you know, you never know. You know they might have a change might have a change. I quite like him. He's all right. He's all right. Uh, next we have Jinder Mahal. He just come back. Just come back. You know, and I was quite happy to see him. Quite happy to see him. A lot of people don't like Jinder. 
a lot of people didn't like his title run, but whatever it's a thing. You know, a lot of people put him in just about bearable. But I'm going to put him in all right, because I quite like Jinder Mahal. Heel Jinder as well. You know, face, even face Jinder's quite good. He's quite good as a face. You know, with the Singh Brothers and the Shanti stuff and dancing. I think he, he was a very good, very good vital in that 24-7 title stuff. You know, I think he's, you know, I really like Jinder. And as a little feud with Drew, maybe. You know, not winning the belt, obviously, because no one beats my Drew, but... You know, I'm probably part of the, the minority that like Jinder. And I think he's alright. I was going to put him in pretty, pretty good, but yeah, he's alright. Uh, next is Kyrie Sane. Who, for me... You know, he's obviously not as good as Asuka, but she's very, very talented as well. She's very entertaining. I think he or Kyrie Sane would be quite good. Would be quite good. Maybe a turn on, on Asuka. I'm going to put him in pretty, pretty good. She's so entertaining. She was so good in NXT. She's 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 just fantastic. You know, maybe in the future she'd be in the best. Maybe she will have a title a major title run. But for the moment she's pretty pretty good for me. Um and next we've got Kevin Owens. Who apparently looks like me. I can't see it. You know, he's cooler than me. He has tattoos, I don't you know, he got spiky hair and a beard, I got spiky hair and a beard. Maybe that's as far as it goes. Uh I'm gonna put him in pretty pretty good and put him at the Mm, could he be the best? I'm not sure. I'm going to put him in the best. Put him in the best. He's so good. You know, and he's... He probably he probably is jacked. But he does look quite big. He's doing it for the big... You know, the bigger men community. I'm a large guy. You know. He, he don't... You know, he don't, don't have this... You know, generic wrestling figure of massive muscles. and that. He's just a... You know, and he seems like a really cool guy as well. I'm going to put him in the best. I think he, you know, in the future, he will have another WWE title run. You know. I really like Kevin Owens. Maybe a lot of people will put him in pretty, pretty good, but I'm going to put him in the best. Uh, next we have Lana, who, uh, at the moment, is not very good. You know, I, th- I thought she would have left with Rusev, but, you know. I'm going to put Get in a Bin. It's the first Get in a Bin, lads. You know. I'm not sure what they can do with her after this. Maybe... Oh, I don't mean to be horrible, but maybe she could just leave and do stuff with Rusev. Because, you know, the Lashley stuff, you know, as, as entertaining as it was, wasn't good. I just don't... Nah. It's getting the bin, and I don't like doing it, but it's getting the bin, because she has not been good as of recently. And I know that's probably not the fault it's WWE, but it's a get in the bin. Uh, next we have Liv Morgan, who in the future, because she's still very young, could be up there with the best. But mm, I'm going to put a uh, bottom of pretty, pretty good. Because although she did lose to Charlotte, you know, that's fair enough. She's been beating Ruby Riot. You know, they haven't done 50 50 on that. They should be beating Ruby Riot. But, you know, I really like her. I think she's very, very talented. You know, hopefully, hopefully, now she's, you know, when she first came back, that lesbian stuff was weird. It wasn't good. You know, Feudum with Ruby Riot's quite good. But I think that's died off now. I'm going to put him in pretty, pretty good. I do see her being a future women's champion. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, next we have Natalia. That thing on Raw wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> what she said. She's a she's a safe hand. I think that's all she is now. She's a safe hand. She's not. Not. I don't think she, she's not someone who'll get pushed to the top anymore. You know, she's been in the company for ages and ages, and you know, the Heart Foundation and all that, and you know, her dad and all that. She's up from wrestling background, but for me, it's it's fluctuating between them two. Oh. I don't want to put it... I'm going to put her in the bottom of all right. She's okay. She's okay. You know, she's a very safe hand in the ring. You know, I think the sharpshoot was very good, very good submission. But apart from that, you know, she's not the best talker. You know, she's a de- she's decent in ring and very safe. But she's just all right for me. Uh, next is Nia Jax. This one is a tough one. Because if you just judge her off her in-ring stuff, 
judge off her in-ring stuff, you could say, oh, she's injured loads of people. Oh, she's well, yes, she has. But it's very tough. I, a lot of people would just say, oh, get in the bin, get in the bin straight away. But, oh, I think, well, I thought while she was injured, while she was like, Nearly getting better. She probably would have, you know, worked on her ring ring stuff and that, but she looks like she hasn't with the Kyrie Zane stuff. It's oh, it's it's really it's tough. I'm gonna put her in just about bearable, but at the top because I mm, I don't think she's the best talker. As you you know, she's all right in the ring, apart from you know the mistakes, you know. Maybe in the future she get pushed up to all right, but for now she's just about bearable. Uh, next is Randy Orton. I'm gonna put him in the best. You know, uh, I, I I could put this probably put this on a poll. You know, no one would see it, but you know, if people did answer it, they'd probably say, "Oh, Randy Orton's very boring." But you can't tell me that the RKO wouldn't pop you every time you see it. The RKO is the most pop finisher in WWE. He's been there since, pff, when was it, 2003, maybe before that, 2002 on it, he's he's been there for so long, he's been so good for so long, he's never missed a step, he's, he's absolutely fantastic, and for me he is the best, he, he will always be the best, he'll be a future Hall of Famer, he's just fantastic, and the next guy I'm going to put in the best as well, because that's Rey Mysterio, another guy that's been there for so long has never you know he's a bit you know maybe a bit slower than he used to be but he's 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 never aged he's never aged he's so he's still so good i would you know maybe another title run us title intercontinental he's definitely a future hall of famer as well you know and the 619 still pops people as well he's still fantastic you know he's not as high flying as maybe he used to be but he's he's oh. I, I can't think of words. My mouth. My words have gone. About Rey Mysterio. You know, he was quite decent. He got... He, he died on Raw. The, Raw. Died at the Money in the Bank. Landing on the second roof, same as Alistair Black, but... Baron Corbin nearly killed him. <laughs> he's still entertaining. He's still... You know, he's a very, very good baby face. I don't think... I could never see a heel, Rey Mysterio, ever. You know, that wouldn't be good. But, you know, I... You know, Rey Mysterio is still great. Rey Mysterio is still great. He need he always will be great. Um, next is uh, oh Rezar. I should have done these two together. I'm gonna put him there. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, did a did a, did a monster tag. Well, supposed to be a monster tag team, but it's not been on telly recently. Maybe they're staying off because of the whole COVID shit. But I think when they come back, they could go for the titles. But for now, they're just about bearable. Uh, next is Ricochet, who I think is very, very good. You know, he does some crazy shit in the ring. He's so talented, so talented. I'm not that first on him wearing the superhero gear. You know, that's not really my thing, the superhero gear. You know, just wear normal tights, man. Just wear normal tights. You've got the fucking body for just normal tights. You know, that match with Brock was, you know, a squash match. But it was very entertaining. Um... Uh, you know, he was fantastic on NXT. Oh, he was superb. And then Vince sort of jobbed him out, you know, 24-7 stuff on it. He lost to Riddick Moss, you know, a few times. But, you know, how can you go from facing Brock to, you know, no disrespect to Riddick Moss, you know, but, you know, to losing the 24-7 championship to Riddick Moss, you know, to then be, you know, thrown off telly, I don't know what Vin, you know, I, he's not a Vince Ilk, is he? Because he's just a skinny guy that does flippy stuff. But you could put him in the best. There could be an argument for the best, but but at the moment I'm gonna put him in pretty pretty good. Uh, next, I think it is Riddick Moss. I think that's Riddick Moss anyway. I think he's not bad, Riddick Moss. But you know, he had that twenty four seven stuff, which was quite a surprise. And it was quite a surprise. And I just feel like something. Mojo Rawley is not on this list. Is Mo what? Mojo Rawley is not on this list. What a shame. He's not on SmackDown, is he? He can't be on SmackDown. 
Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Riddick Moss. I'm going to put him in just about bearable because I haven't really seen much of him. He didn't really do much on XT, did he? You know, that was quite weird, actually, that call-up. Probably one of the weirdest call-ups from NXT. You know, he come up, done some stuff with Bojo, won the 24-7 championship, lost it, and then it's gone. You know, maybe if we saw more of him, he'd get pushed up, but I don't really have much to say about him. He's all right. He's quite a talented wrestler, but, you know, I haven't seen much of him. Uh, next is our truth. I'm going to put him in pretty, pretty good. He's so entertaining. He's so entertaining. The stuff on Raw had me in fucking stitches. <laughs> the teeth. It was so funny. The 24-7 championship is his. It will always be his. He's been so good with it. So good. He, you know, to, he's, he's getting on a bit now. He's, he's in his late 40s. And to be, you know, still so good. You know, he's a joke. He's a jokey character. He's a jokey character, but he plays up to that so well. He plays up to that so well. Oh, I'm thinking of putting him in the best. No, I won't. No, I won't. I'll leave him at that. I'll leave him at that. Everyone, you know, if you don't like our truth, then I don't like you, because you're just not fun. Our truth just is fun. You know, he's he's probably one of the most. He probably probably is one of the most entertaining guys in the business. And he does, he's, yeah, he deserves it pretty, pretty good. I don't see him having another title run like a US or anything like that. Maybe another 24-7. You know, he's going after Gronk. Going after Gronk for the title. We'll see what happens with that. But, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. You might get a Hall of Fame induction. I'm not sure. But I think I think he's pretty, pretty good. Uh, next is Ruby Riot. I just realised something else as well. Shayna Baszler isn't on this list either. I didn't create this list. I just found her off the website. You know, it would have taken me ages to create this, and I can't be asked. So, uh, uh, I'll do it at the end. I'll say where they're going to go at the end, and just you know, you can you can imagine their faces going into the into the categories. Uh, next is Ruby Riot. I think she's quite talented. I think she's quite good. Ever since she came back, she lost to Liv Morgan. So, uh, but I'm going to put her in. I'm going to put her in all right at the moment. You know. Maybe when she's when they live more confused over, I think it is over actually. But maybe they'll do something with her. I'm not sure she'll do much on. Maybe she moves to SmackDown. She might have a you know. I could yeah. It's a tough one. It's a really it's a really tough one. I could see her holding a title, but I'm not sure which one or when. It's 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 a difficult one. You know the riots got quite entertaining. They were quite all right. Didn't didn't do much. You know, they just caused havoc and lost, mainly. But I think she's a very talented wrestler. And I, th- I, th- I, th- I do actually think she's got quite good mic skills as well. So we, I could definitely see her holding a title. But at the moment, she's all right. Um, next is Samoa Joe. I could put him in the best. I could put him in the best. But mm, I'm gonna put him in pretty, pretty good. He's a very good commentator since he's come back. He's gone as a commentary. I think he's a very good commentator. I would have liked to have seen Samoa Joe um, win a major championship. Maybe that'll happen. Maybe that'll still happen, but I don't think so now. Did he held the US. Did he hold the US a few years ago? Yeah, I think so. I think he's he got the same name as me, which is a plus. Uh. He's super talented in the ring. He's so talented in the ring. The move where he just quickly flips him over is, is so good. He's so good. I could put him in the best. Mm. No, I'm not going to. That AJ feud last year was fantastic as well. The AJ feud was amazing. You know, he was such a good heel. You know, the whole going, you know, with his kids and that. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He was so good on NXT. He's been so good on the main roster. He just is pretty, pretty good. Uh, let me just zoom this out so you can see. Why don't I just do that at the start? Uh, next is Seth Rollins. Mm, this is a tough one. That stuff on Raw, where he was just staring into space for the whole match, and then nearly took Rey Mysterio's eye out. 
Next we have Seth Rollins. The stuff on Raw, uh, where he was just staring into space and just doing nothing, was one of the funniest things I've seen for a while. And then he took Rey Mysterio's eye out, so that was quite good. I think he's a very good heel. As a face, last year wasn't the best. Or maybe he's not, you know, he's talking on the mic. Maybe it's probably, it's improved now. But I don't think it was the best. Um, the Fiend stuff is not his fault. But, yeah, he, he wasn't the best on social media last year as well. But he's a very, very talented wrestler. But I'm not sure if he's in my best category. He probably would be in a lot of other people's best categories. But not mine. So it's a tough one. Because I want to put him in the best, but I don't. Um... Hmm. I'm going to put him top of pretty, pretty good. Put him top of pretty, pretty good. I think if, I was, if the other guys were here, they would probably overrule me and put me in the best. But it's, for me, I'm putting him in pretty, pretty good. Um. Ah, oh, this is... I feel quite bad putting him in here, but... Hmm... His new entrance theme is not very good, in my opinion. You know, it's it's just generic heel music number two, isn't it, in my opinion. You know, we couldn't have to burn it down, because, you know, people still chant burn it down. But just give him something else, give him something a bit better. You know, I, I, I do think he should be heel for the, you know, for the foreseeable future, because I think he's a very good heel. Congratulations on being a dad, Seth. Uh, next we've got Shelton Benjamin, who, if you're going by, going by his older, no, going by his previous WWE run, you know, ECW and all that, I put him in pretty, pretty good, but, you know, as of, since he's come back, he won the tag titles anyway, uh, Chad Gable, and they had the, Ameri- well, no, one American Alpha, was it? it's just Gable and Benjamin, but, you know, he, he's not where he used to be, obviously, you know, people get older, but I think he's still super talented, because he had that stuff last year, wasn't he, where he was just staring and smiling and not saying anything. I thought they were actually going to go somewhere with that and give him like a heel, you know, a heel character type thing. You know, maybe give him a, you know, I could see him holding a US title in the future. I say the future, he's, you know, he probably won't be there in the future, but um, I'm going to put him in pretty, pretty good. Because I think he is pretty, pretty good. He obviously can't do the flippy stuff and, the, you know, the hot, the, you know, the jumpy stuff he used to do. Be, you know, People age, people age, but I think he's pretty, pretty good, and I think he always will be, be pretty, pretty good. You know, maybe that you know he has a friendship with Brock. Maybe that could, you know, stem into a tag team. I've never seen Brock hold the tag titles before. That'd be quite fun. You know, he he always appears in rumbles. You know, no matter what year it is, you know, he always appears in rumbles. I get why he appeared in this rumble because of the Brock thing. You know, for the friendship and all that, but he always appears in rumbles. You know. But I, th- I think he, I I do think here's here's something about Shelton Benjamin. I think he should get his old theme song back because I think that was very good. But he's just got the Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin theme song, only, and he's he's not in the tag team anymore. He's never gonna be in that tag team anymore, probably. Just give him his old theme back, man. That was so good. That was so good. Yeah, he's pretty pretty good. Next is uh, Titus O'Neil. He's a very nice guy. I do follow him on Twitter, and he's a lot of charity work and all that. But you know, if if his career, if all his career is built off, is falling at the Royal Rumble, that's not that good, is it? And dropping a barrel NXT, you know, he was the first ever twenty four seven championship holder, which is something to go by. And Titus Old White does quite good, but I'm going to put him in all right. I'm going to put him near the top. I'm going to put him there. I think you know, he uh, he was in that match when he. Was it the uh, was it Gauntlet match? Yeah, he was in the Gauntlet match, wasn't he? And lost in about ten seconds to Bobby Lashley. He's a big guy. He's a massive guy. So I think they should do more with him. I think they should definitely do more with him. You know, give him a good, give him a, give him an actual program. Give him an actual program in WWE instead of just you know having him appear on TV now and then to lose. Just give him something, cause you know, you know, give, just give him a feud with someone. Even if he loses that feud, it's just some. It's just give him something, you know. He could be pretty, pretty good. 
if he'd done more, if he'd done more in the company. And I know that's not his fault. And I think he should do more. But at the moment, he's in all right. He's in all right. Uh, next we have Selena Vega, who is very good at Andrade. He's actually a very, very talented wrestler. No one, know, no one knows that because he's, she's always, you know, on the side with Andrade. And I'm going to put her in pretty, pretty good because I think if you know, I can't really see them apart. But if they do come apart, that that you know, them two, I could see her going. Maybe not a main, maybe not a main event push straight away, but maybe in the future. Maybe in the future, I think. She's a very good talker. She's a very good manager, and she's a super talented wrestler. You know, you've seen her Hurricane Rana's and all that, and you know all the stuff she does. You know, was she in this year's Royal Rumble? Yeah, I think she was in this year's Royal Rumble. You know, it's a shame she can't really show off what she can do in Rumbles because she gets eliminated pretty much. You know, soon. You know, straight away, very quickly. But I think she's super talented. You know, she she's a she'd be a great heel. She'd be a great heel. And I think, you know, in a few years, she would definitely be up there for a main event feud. Um, and to finish it off, we've got Shayna and Mojo Rotley. If I miss people out, please tell me. I didn't make this list, as I said. But it's Shayna and Mojo. I'm not kind Rob Gronkowski because he's gone. Um, it's Shayna and Mojo in it. I'd put, I do quite like Mojo Rotley. I really think Mojo Rotley's entertaining. If they give him the right thing. You know that mirror stuff last year. Where he had the fucking. Oop, where he had the face paint and the mirror. And that lasted for about a month didn't he. I think it was very very entertaining. But. I know the. You know. He's not, he's not over with the crowd. And I. You know. The hype bros. That was very good. I, I put him in alright. I put him in alright. Maybe near the top. Near the top. Because I think he's a very. You know. He's a good wrestler. He's a big guy. I think he could be very, very entertaining. You know, he's he's held the twenty four seven championship. That's not really a big, big title, but still, I think he's very entertaining. But all right, and we got Shayna Baszler, who mm, this is the tough one because since she come back, just come back since she got pushed, since she got sent to the main roster, she wasn't really over with the crowd. You know, she she could be seen as this monster heel. You know that she she beat everyone at the elimination chamber, and then lost to Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. I think she should have beat Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. Definitely, I do also think she was should have won the Royal Rumble. You know that was my pick to win a Royal Rumble. She didn't. You know, I I do think she will hold the Raw tag the Raw tag teams, the Raw Women's Championship in the future. I think that will be the feud her and her and Asuka, and I think she will hold that. Hopefully the crowd get behind her because I don't think they go. They, I know there's no crowd there at the moment, but before when there was a crowd, they weren't really behind her, and I think they should be. I, I, the stuff she was saying on Raw about the baby and that was really good. You know she's such a good heel, and she's so talented. I put her in top of pretty pretty good, top of pretty pretty good. You know people would probably say, oh no, she's not. You know she's. But she's a good talker. She's a good wrestler. I thought she would have done more at Money in the Bank. That was my pick to win Money in the Bank as well. But she never. Which is a shame. But anyway, yeah. She's pretty, pretty good. I'm not sure, you know, if the other guys agree. I think they probably would, actually. You know, they didn't really watch much NXT. But, you know, I've seen her in NXT. I think she was fantastic. I think she'll definitely be women's champion in the future. Anyway, that's the end of that. I'll probably do a Smackdown one. In the future, no one will watch it, but you know, it's just something to do in it. Anyway, th- thanks for what, thanks for listening, or watching, watching and listening. Cheers.